Lois Alta hails from Kagoro, Kabura local government of Kaduna State. She was born on April 29, 1980 in Joss Plateau State to the family of Alta Akok, both from Kaduna State. She was affected by polio at age two, but she sees her disability as a bridge, not a barricade, a blessing, not a curse, and as an, as an opportunity to change the world. She also believes that disability does not define her, but her ability does. Lois obtained a diploma in public administration and BSc in public administration, respectively, from University of Abuja. Lois is a 2014 Mandela Washington Fellow, 2016 Ashoka Chain Maker, finalist at Aso Villa Demo Day 2016, 2017 Dangote Fellow, and the former first vice president of the Mandela Washington Fellowship Alumni Association Nigeria. Lois Alta contested for House of Representatives in Amak Bari Federal Constituency in the 2019 general election and emerged the first and only woman with disability that ran for the position among 4,080 candidates. She is the president of Women on Wheels, initiator and president of um, network of disabled women organizations with 135 organizations of women with disability in seven countries and 70 presence in Nigeria, collaborating with regional and international organizations of disabled women. Lois Alta is the founder and executive director of Cedar Seed Foundation, a non-profit, non-governmental, non-sectarian, non-partisan, youth-led independent development organization that promotes inclusion and equal opportunity for disabled women. Since the inception of Cedar Seed Foundation, Lois and her team have affected thousands of persons with disability through ideas and initiatives. She has represented persons with disability, particularly women with disability, locally and globally. Yeah, my name is Lois Auta Udonkanta. I'm the founder and CEO of Cedar Seed Foundation, the founder and president of Network of Disabled Women. I'm also a Mandela Washington Fellow 2014, Young Global Leader of the World Economic Forum in 2017, and many more. Yes, it, it was not easy, and it was easy. It has a good story and a bad story. Yes, I lost the vote. That's not a big deal because I'm going to run again. I lost the vote, but I have won the process by breaking the record, making history as the first woman with disability that ran with 4,080 candidates. That's the positive side of it. The negative side of it was I was discriminated against because I'm a woman, I'm a woman with disability, with inadequate funding. I come from Kaduna, I run in the FCT, I am married to Akwai Bong man, and so many um, factors. Is it patriarchy? Is it stereotyping? Is it the exclusion of women and women with disabilities in the political sphere? Some were the, some, some were the factors that tried to hinder me, to stop me from participating, but I refused to stop the journey. I continued until the last day on the day of election i got 2000 plus votes the winner got 19000 plus vote and for me is a good start with all 
the factors that try to stop me, exclusion, underrepresentation, the language barrier, is it access to some campaign platforms, access to lack of access to some communities and other um, challenges and difficulties. That was the beginning of the journey. And I believe we are still in the journey. Someday, somehow, it will be history. And I believe suddenly, history will make itself happen and we'll be able to record that, yes, these are women that tried to remove barriers in order to create opportunity and spaces for other women to thrive. Um, no, I don't like um, saying or oh, singing about my achievement. I prefer other people to say, uh, this is Lois, this is what she has achieved. This is her story. I thank God for where I am today. It was through his grace, my family, well wishers, and good people like you that contributed in my journey and my story. CDC Foundation was founded in 2011, fully registered in 2013. And so far, we have reached out to thousands of persons with disabilities. I am so proud to mention that Cedar Seed Foundation advocated for the inclusion of over 25 million Nigerians with disabilities through the Nigerian Disability Act. And today, this bill has been turned to an act through our advocacy. Not only that, a commission is established for the running and management of the affairs of millions of citizens with disabilities in Nigeria. Cedar Seed Foundation has received many awards locally and globally. And through Cedar Seed Foundation, we were able to set up a network of disabled women. We have presence in the 36 states. We have reached out to 4,000 plus members of network of disabled women. And this network was set up in 2019, two years ago. But we have done many significant activities that has changed and transformed the lives of women and girls with disabilities. And our main focus areas in NDW is leadership, and capacity building, um, health, peace and security, and education. So, my achievement, yes, I received some presidential handshake from President Obama, from former President Obasanjo, good luck, Jonathan. And I've been invited to Aso Villa twice during President Buhari administration in 2015 and 2016 through Yaga Africa. And um, today, I'm so proud that God has used me to mentor some young women in the disability community. Some of them are running their own organizations now. Some are trying to register their own and some have gotten employment. Some have gone back to school because I realized this girl is brilliant. If she can go back to school, she will do well. 
and many of them are doing well. A good leader creates more leaders and that is my objective as a leader. That is my slogan as a leader and I think for now that is my biggest achievement. They should prioritize their needs, they should know what they want, they shouldn't allow any obstacle, challenge or difficulty stop them. Those are barriers. They shouldn't allow those barriers barricade them from achieving their dreams. Rather, they should see those barriers as bridge to step on and move on with their journey. So young women that are coming up should be strong. They should use their strengths against their weaknesses. Just like the way I'm using my disability to show the world that I have abilities. Not just one ability, but 99 abilities. I have a disability power. This is not the normal DIS, but THIS. I have disability power in me. So they should be strong. They should be courageous. They should be resilient. They should be bold. And they should continue to do what is right as young leaders to inspire the world. When I am elected as a member of the parliament, I intend to sponsor bills at the parliament that will give rights to citizens with disabilities in this country. I will make sure that the right to be educated is given to persons with disabilities. The right to enjoy equal opportunities. In the Disability Act, there is 5% reservation of qualified persons with disabilities during employment either in private sector or public sector. This has not been achieved. When I get there, I'll make sure I do things differently. I'll come up with ideas, innovative and creative ideas that will make sure that disability inclusion is achieved in the political sphere and other sectors of the economy. For women, I will continue to advocate for the 35% affirmative action. I will also join in the campaign. Thus, if gender and equal opportunity bill is not passed before I become a member, I will continue the advocacy. I will also have an academy that will be enrolling young women in a political school, including women and girls with disabilities who wants to become future leaders in this country. Through the school, there will be mentorship opportunities, learning visit opportunities to other countries to see how things are being done in other regions, in other countries, parliament, and other innovative ideas that will be able to create inclusion of young women, older women, and women with disabilities in all the sectors. Yeah. Nigerian Women Trust Fund has done many things in my life. They have touched my life, they have transformed my life during my campaign. They have trained my capacity on how to get a brilliant manifesto, how to campaign competently with my male counterpart. They have trained me on public speaking, and other opportunities. 
not only me, other young women that ran for offices at the State House of Assemblies, councillorship, and other levels of governance. Nigerian Women Trust Fund is an organization that empowers women politically, socially, and economically. Because if you train me on how to become a competent politician, a conscious politician, this will empower me to become a great woman. And I will also use that office to empower others. So the impact that Nigerian Women Trust Fund is creating in this country is huge. And I want to employ donor agencies to continue to support Nigerian Women Trust Fund so that the good work they are doing will continue.